Hi, and welcome to another episode by myself, Rob Allen. Today, we're going to continue the Nylon versus Dyneema saga. As you guys might have re uh, recalled, on the previous Nylon versus Dyneema, we were showing the knot strength of Dyneema, how much losses you have on it. Um, obviously, there are advantages of Dyneema, and the main one is the abrasion resistance. And this is what we're going to demonstrate today by tensioning it over the sharp edges of a bench mounted vise. We use standard mono on all of our guns. This is our retail store where we set up guns for customers. I'm just going to grab a lens and haul on it over the vise. Not too hard, but hard enough to show how quickly it degrades. Won't take much to break that. That didn't take much effort and it wouldn't take much more for that to snap. Now I'm going to show the Dyneema that we would install. Exactly the same scenario. Obviously this is not an exact science. It's just me pulling on it. I'm pulling actually harder than I was with the mono. If anything, it will make it hot and burn opposed to being actually cut. Quite hard on the fingers. As you can see, it's outlasting the mono way better. And there you see it slightly fluffed up, but two to three times more effort to make that little damage opposed to the mono. Well, there you have it. Now you know the advantages of Dyneema over mono, way better in terms of abrasion resistance. Click and subscribe and uh, stick around for the next one.